Friday the 13th, everybody. Welcome back to Oregon Springs. I am Farmer Min. Woke up this morning with a little bit of a cold. And then on top of that, I was trying to turn on my uh, morning news program, and the satellite dish was uh, a little out of whack. So I've been up here adjusting that. That seems to be good there. I can hear the signal from my TV. Um, good to go there. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> my ladder fell down. Oh, bummer. Uh-oh. I was mowing the yard, too, bright and early this morning. Um, adjusting the security cameras, getting things um, squared away here. But now what the heck? Oh, there. We just jumped off the garbage can. That'll work. This ladder sucks. I should, I should get a new ladder. Why do we have this stupid aluminum ladder? Where am I going to put it? Let's just see if I can lean it up against here. My table of crap. Hey, there we go. Perfect. I got teeter-totter. Anyways, let me just finish up my mowing here. Oh, wait. I had to move the other crap out of the yard. You know, I don't know how my yard gets so full of crap. Um, I don't do it. So I don't know if neighbors come over here and play with my stuff and put crap all over the place or what. But seems like nobody can put anything away. And a uh, wheelbarrow. Oh, look at that light wheelbarrow. I can just pick that thing right up. I don't even need to wheel it. Just set that right there. There you go. Stay. Just a little bit of mowing left. Yeah. I am up bright and early today, I tell you. I am, I am one busy farmer. Uh, overnight, the corn has grown. Um, well, keep in mind that one game day is ten... 10 calendar days, so yes, we our corn has emerged, it is up, so I'm thinking we got to get that sprayed. We, we, you don't want to spray corn when it is um, too high, so we'll spray that now. We'll get that done with this morning, maybe even get on to the sugar beets. Um, that would just be fine and dandy. Um, down at the logging, logging adventure that we are having, um, I did fill up the uh, wood chip bunker. I did get that fill. So there is 400,000 liters in that. And and uh, I did get one semi load um, full. So the semi load, the semi truck is down there with the log trailer and that is um, loaded. Let's see. The sprayer is out. I did that already this morning. It's only 6.30 in the morning. I've been so productive. Um, but we can spray early. It's a clear skies. We don't have a big, we don't have a strong breeze, so we're good to go. I have it full. So I'm thinking we should just go get the corn done right off the bat. That'd probably be the best bet. Um, Animal-wise, I think we're okay. Uh, they need some work, but uh, that can wait until later on in the day. We don't have to be um, messing around with them too early yet this morning. Um, everything is still in the green, so we're okay. Um, other than that, that's about all that's happening as of this morning. Um, my goal for today is probably get some spray done. Um, might try to get that uh, log trailer sold just to see um, what prices, if they remain, and what we're getting for it. Um, even though we don't have, we don't owe the bank any money, but uh, checkbook balance is getting down there. Um, still kind of surprised that the grass that I planted the second and third time um, has not emerged. So I'm a little curious about that. But uh, other than that, I think we're okay. Um, I have been debating a few things on what, on what sh we should do. Um, I know we planted this corn, and the intention, the intention of this corn field that I bought and planted was to go to the BGA, um, which is still kind of, kind of the plan. I mean, that, that is the plan. Um, but I'm wondering if we should maybe try to get some grass cut and uh, put that into a bunker for silage of the cows as well. Um, the grass that we already cut, of course, is not going to be ready um, again. So that would mean getting additional grass, buying other grass, I suppose. Let's see, if I remember right, we 
planted a headland starting here going up around to the other end if I can remember that right um, of course in game here it is not going to um, be correct because the uh, the um, tracks will, will just go the way the game has them laid out so a little bit of an imagination hat because technically you know when we planted it with our GPS course uh, if we put a track in and saved it um, we could get the sprayer to follow the exact same track so we would be in the rows and not going across any corn but the game of course they just have it planted in whatever way the the map has it so we'll go with it it's okay we're pretty close but I think we went around this edge and then uh, I'll do a, I'll do the headland down there and then we'll go back and forth with that as well that should be just fine and dandy um, earlier today, today Friday the 13th, I put up a video of the updated map Old Slovenian Farm, and I gotta tell you, I was when I saw that on um, the Mod Hub under the testing, I was excited for that map because I had high ex expectations for that map when it first came out, and uh, I think like other people were kind of disappointed in it. And so I was thinking to myself, yep, yeah, they're going to fix it. It's going to be perfect. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it. Because actually last night I went on there just to have a look around, just in case the new version came out. I wanted to see what the differences were and took some screenshots. And was thinking to myself with that classic tractor DLC coming out and the Massey Ferguson 300 series, I was thinking of a map that would be a good map to play either you know, as a series or just on my own free time um, for those tractors and that was one of the maps that I thought of because I had played every map so if I went back in and did it, it would just have to be a um, a redo of one but so that version came out today I was kind of excited but then I got on there looking around and I was shocked not in a good way um, shocked that so many problems. I, I just, I don't understand. I don't get it. Um, hats off to map makers and modders. They, it's unbelievable what they can accomplish. But, you know, um, like with other things in life, there's been a, there's been a bar that's been set. And, um, you know, you kind of got to achieve that. And anything that's substandard will be treated as substandard. And especially when the first time you, you put a map out that you had so many problems with it. I mean, you know, hard to believe that when you update it, the new version out, you know, your expectations are even higher. And when you can't meet those, so that's kind of a sad deal. And I, uh, that's too bad because I really thought that would be a cool map to do that with. And in general, I, the idea of the map, I, I really like. I think it's, it's cool. Um, but once again, too many problems. So... Go ahead and take a look at that and uh, let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm uh, a little surprised. Little surprised. I mean, there's some big changes, big changes to it. But um, nothing that uh, seemed to be beneficial. Anyways, cows seem to be happy. Happy cows. And that was one, that, speaking of cows. Um, now that we're by the cow pasture, that was the one thing that really that really got to me, and I think that you never really understand it until you see it. But to have your cow pasture with both animated cows, the cows that you buy, and static cows, just didn't make any sense to me. Why would you have static cows in your cow pasture with animated cows? I that I that I didn't get. I thought that was just bizarre. But I don't, I don't like static animals to begin with. So then you put them in the pasture with animated cows, and it just doesn't seem... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, enough of that said. Um, let's see, I can't remember. I thought I did two headlands, so it would have been... But we'll just straighten this off here and go right down the row here. Um, yeah. Might take a little while. This might take a little while bigger than you think it is. Well, this
this oh no the corn would need um, the corn would need one more one more spray yet wouldn't they I was thinking they'd only need this spray but they're gonna need another spray after this because they were planted with the uh, row crop planter we can't fertilize at the same time so yeah this is gonna need another another shot but we can handle that we can handle that Yeah, the corn it just looks uh, wilted a little bit. Uh, the nutrient nutrient deficiency, or it's just uh, uh, drought symptoms, or what? But yeah, it just looks a little droopy. Looks a little droopy. Not real perky corn here. But turned out nice, nice looking corn crop. Besides that. I'll tell you what, I will, uh, just for the sake of time, so we're not just sitting here spraying uh, one field a day, I will um, finish this up and uh, get back with you probably on the last pass or two. So we'll see in a little bit. Just about wrapping up this field, but look at the forecast, man. They, they're predicting hail. Hail here upon us, but clear blue skies. I mean, I don't see no hail in their future, but. Little little storm rolling in, possibility of hail. That's not good. That is not good at all. I did have Aubrey uh, bring up the spray truck. That is parked over at the Sugar Beet Field, um, ready to go, dependent on what the weather ends up doing here. Excuse me. Ends up what the weather ends up doing here. I would like to get that uh, that field. Um, sprayed but uh, we'll see what happens here because we're gonna head over here and just oh I'm just missing just a little bit not good um, see what the weather does here probably shouldn't have turned around like that either Oh well, can't be 100% perfect. Okay, that's great. Let's take a look. Um, oops. Fertilized. Yep, that's on its second. That's good to go there. Um, if we sprayed 24 right now, that would be its third and final fertilizing state. So then all we would have is um, these three to go. So I, I don't know. I'm hoping the weather hangs off here. Let's just go give it a shot um, and see what happens. And Aubrey was nice enough to bring the spray truck up here and park it right here. That worked out pretty good. Hook up the hoses and fill her up. Why aren't you going to fill up for me? There we go. I suppose we'll fill it up and move this out of the way because I think my boom would hit it. If I remember right, we did a pat headland there and back. No 
cars coming. Perfect. Good stuff there. You betcha. Good looking sugar beets. Good looking sugar beets. I don't see any, uh, any, uh, we, we, well, in my neck of the woods, we call them bolters, uh, which can arise. It's like a deformed sugar beet, and they grow these straight, thin stalks straight up in the air. Um, the other thing that has been um, occurring lately in, um, in sugar beet. Um, fields is um, oh now why can't I think of the name of it here um, oops I just clipped the tree oh for um, oh it's going to bother me now that I can't think of it but anyways what it is is in, in Oregon here where sugar beet seed is growing um Sometimes there's a cross-pollination between the sugar beet and a um, radish. And uh, it produces this, um, the cross between a sugar beet and a radish. There's a name for it. I'll, I'll uh, think about it here for a second. And um, sometimes you find those in the field because then they get, they get uh, mixed in with the sugar beet seeds. So when you're planting your sugar beet, you know, there could be a few of those um, um, in your seed. What is the name? Ah, it'll come to me. But that's what it is. It's a cross between those two things. Um, and they're a bright red, leafy. Um, the vegetation on the, on, the, on the beet is all bright red. So pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah, definitely so. Anyways, let's see what else. Um, I don't know. Fine looking sugar beet field though. This is going to be a a good field. I can tell you. It's going to be a good field. A um, little worrisome that um, uh, we are well, we're still quite a, we're still a ways away from the um, sugar beet harvest, but uh, we don't have any sugar beet harvesting equipment, and we only have thirty-two thousand dollars in the bank. So that's a little worrisome, I think. I think I'm a little, I'm a little troubled by that. But uh, maybe our sawmill uh, logging adventure will um, will pay off for that. So hopefully so, because we don't have a combine either. So for that matter, we do not have a combine. Um, we have a baler. We got we got the the stuff to make for our um, our straw bales. We got that, but uh, we don't have any combine or anything. So that's a little disappointing. But we'll get there. We'll get there. And then, of course, um, it certainly is hard to um, be interested in uh, in. Um, Harvesting equipment, anything besides the ropa, being that the dealer has a is a ropa dealer, so that's too bad. But we'll get there. Still looks pretty cool in here, I do have to say. Yep, nice sprayer. Little gauge, digital gauge there. Tells me what my um, leaders are. Yeah, nice. Oh, why did I do that? I totally screwed that up. Why didn't I turn around in the headland? Why did I go all the way to the end? I was too busy inside the cab paying attention. My bad.
I'm just curious now. This is, um, Twenty-eight meters. The horse is thirty-six. Wow! And the New Holland is thirty-six as well. So another eight meters. Hmm. Interesting. Don't want to spray in the water. That wouldn't be good. That would probably, the EPA probably would be uh, hounding us for that. We would be in um, big trouble. Probably would be in big trouble just for having it that close to the, the water anyways. Well... Let's see. The hail's not coming yet, so I, hopefully we get this field done. That would be a good good thing. But this field is pretty big. I mean, it's much bigger than we than you realize. Um, Twenty four is a good sized field. But buddy, you, you know, I think I said I think I said this on Oakfield the other day. You get in the field and you work in the field, and you realize when you look at the map, it is not even close to being the biggest field on the map. So if that one feels big. Um, the other big ones. You're missing something there, buddy. Oh well. I don't know how I did that. Oh well. GPS is driving it now. We'll continue on here. This is going to get awfully boring just going back and forth like this, and I don't have, I don't know if I can keep talking that whole time. So we'll turn the tunes on a little bit. We'll just sit back, relax, we'll chill, and uh, we'll spray the sugar beets here.
that field and thought I would come over and just do the other sugar beet field real quick while I'm here and have it out just so um, the sugar beets are done together I thought that would be uh, not a bad idea so that is what I am doing but just a couple more passes here and we are complete with the beets let's see follow oh camera that line there yeah not too bad um, I gotta tell you the uh, hailstorm <laughs> The hailstorm we were supposed to get kind of went away, and here's the reason why. Um, when I got done with the other field and was coming over here, the darn game um, froze again. I, I got the error message; it froze. Um, and I'm having trouble with I'm having trouble with that on actually both maps. So in order to get caught up, I um, went back to where I had it saved before and um, kind of got caught up so I didn't I missed some here so that's why the the, the thing the forecast changed and that's all been done but because of the uh, reloading and whatever it um, it uh, reset a few things um, my last save game was actually the night before so I had to start back there, redo the stuff. I don't know why I'm getting that, and I can't think of, you know, the only other mods that I've had recently is the wood chipper, but it's happening to both Oakfield Farm and Oregon Springs, so I, I, can't, I can't figure it out. I, I don't know why, but it's just, it's, it's really irritating, and uh, getting a little old, you could say. So anyways, so that's done. So here's where we stand. Um, both sugar beet fields are now done both wheat fields are done and the corn and the soybeans have two stages of fertilization so those three fields 23, 36 and their little pie one here I'm going to call it the pie field we'll call it the pie field little pie field over here um, needs to be sprayed as well so yeah so that is that done. Um, let's see. It's only 11.27. Time is just not going by real fast today. But I suppose we'll um, get this put away and we'll run down there and haul in that semi-load just to see uh, what we're getting and if it's still kind of consistent to what we have been getting. Um, on the way, we'll stop and take care of the cows real quick and do that um, other than that we're kind of caught up on the farm um, I'm really thinking that um, we should go do some grass work as well um, go um, rent that one grass field over there maybe do some um, I don't know what we should do though silage or hay because silage bales we could maybe make and just see what we get for a silage bale. I'm kind of curious what a silage bale, but then again, we'd have to go, we'd have to wait for it to, to ferment. I mean, we'd have to wait for that. So I don't know. We should check on our silage bales too. Are our silage bales, I don't think they'll be done yet either. I think that won't be until tomorrow. But we can check on them when we get over to the farms. I'm just going to back the sprayer in here get that put away there we go and then uh, I'll put the truck away too because we are done with that for for today um, there are some uh, you probably seen them um, probably some are some cool mods out today that tanker pack that is some pretty nifty I watched the the video um, on that and those are pretty interesting Maybe perhaps uh, we could um, think about doing a little trading in, yeah. Because then we could have our um, our tender on here, 
and get rid of that. Well, no, you couldn't have the tender on here and pull the trade. Well, if you had a, if you had a dolly, I suppose you could, but um, yeah. Or just keep it as it is. Okay, let's head over to Flint Rock, and we'll take a look at the cows. But yeah, it's funny how the forecasts change like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting the, that error message all the time now, randomly. And I can't quite figure it out. But, it is what it is. I haven't had that happen in a very, very long time. Not since old oh, Lawfold's days, I think. But, I always drive way too fast here in this pickup. Maybe it's my fancy new rims. Maybe that's what it is. Option 7. You know... I, I heard this on another video, but and he was exactly right. It'd be cool if on FS19, um, you know, when you go into you go into the store and you buy something and they have different options, that a little picture showed up and showed you what exactly the options were, because you you know you don't know, so you have to go through the whole time the list and buy them and then yeah, that'd be kind of nifty. Let's see. Let's just check on the. Uh, oh yeah, we'll just do some cleaning, some water, and bales. Why don't we just do the whole thing while we're here? Holy buckets! Are you kidding me? That is... Cheapers. There's like three bales here. Well, I suppose it looks a lot worse <laughs> than it actually is. It looks a lot worse laying on the ground. Or I should say it always looks a lot more on the ground than it does um, in the bucket because it certainly looked a lot more than that, but that's the way it, I guess it always is. So do you still need a bale of grass then? Uh, no. So... We'll just give them a... I wonder where it is. Our, let's just check our stuff here real quick. I bet our grass is getting down there. Oops, I don't need the chainsaw out. Thank you very much. 32.57. So we almost lost a thousand liters. And how close is our silage bales? 11 hours to go. Hey, not too bad. 11 hours. Gonna knock down the whole, the whole pile there. Maybe I should just buy a fork. That well, works kind of nifty, though. There you go, cow. Happy eating. Happy eating to you, cow. Enjoy that scrumptious hay. out. Yep. Good looking cornfield over there, I tell you. That is a nice looking cornfield. Too much there. They are good to go. Oops, I didn't mean to turn the tractor off. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I don't think the... Uh, I don't think I've seen a cow in here. Do cows come in here? 
I can't remember if I've seen a uh, a cow in this shed eating this stuff. Maybe, maybe I just haven't seen them, but I don't. I I can't remember seeing one. Okay, it is what it is. Just the static cows laying down and chilling out. Whoa, careful. All right, that's that. Put the tractor away. You know, I was chatting with somebody today that um, it seems like on Oregon Springs here, I am all caught up with work. I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, but yet on Oakfield, it feels like I'm running around with my head cut off. Maybe it's just the time of the year. That could very well be. Um, because come harvest time, uh, it's going to get busy here. Especially with all the sugar beets in the ground. Um, that's going to be busy. Even combining soybean and corn. And, or soybean, yeah, soybean, corn, and wheat. And then getting that stuff bailed as well. So yeah, maybe it's just that time of the year. It just kind of feels like it's uh, daily chores and that's about it. But, you know, holy Pick up. Stay, drive straight. Why don't you? Um, but we still have spraying to do. That's why I just, I just don't want to do one whole thing of spraying and be done with it. Might as well. In the real world, we certainly would not be um, not be spraying everything in one day. So we'll give it a little chance here. Time to relax. We'll go. We'll go take in this um, this semi load and see what we get for that. Um, like I said, the, the, that little wood chip silo is completely full. Um, I will check and see what the prices of wood chips are, but they're, they're, they're rock bottom. Um, no sense hauling in any of that. That would just be kind of worthless. Might as well wait till the winter time for that. Maybe prices will go up, because I want to say prices were up. Um. 400 something maybe or maybe I'm just dreaming I wonder who has that little piece of grassland there and our grass hasn't uh, emerged yet either again today kind of surprising All right, let's take this in. It's not, not a bad load. I think it's a good load. Um, straps could use some work there, though. Certainly don't got very far to drive, that's for sure. Seems to be a pretty heavy load. Let's see, 32,000. If this is going to be what I think it's going to be, about average up to 60. So we'll be approaching 100,000. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. You know, you kind of hate that, just that, uh, do a bunch of logging, but, uh, it is one way to uh, rack up the bucks in a hurry, that's for sure. Especially with the nice sized trees here, and they're easily cuttable. Well, we do have 184,000 into it, but we can easily make that back.
Look at that. 62,000? Wow. That is not too shabby. Right? My 60? I had 32. Yeah. 62,000. For that load. Wow. And wood chips. This is look at wood chips. If you looked at that price, 145 dollars. Um, yeah, because look at that, 400 thousand in. So if you look at that, all those wood chips. Let me just get my handy dandy. Well, I thought I could figure this out uh, without the calculator, but I'm mathematically challenged. At 140. Oh, 145. Yeah, all those wood chips are only worth 58,000. Now, granted, I don't know how many trees um, that would be, but all those wood chips are 58,000, and you get 62,000 for one semi load. It's a no brainer. It's an absolute no brainer. Now, I suppose maybe the static wood chipper. Um, but I, we did that once in the very beginning, and it's just, you know, a little bit too far-fetched for me. You know, it's got, it magically sells, uh, try to stay away from that. I mean, I can see if you were just clearing land to just use the land and didn't care about the money generated off of it, yeah, but then you could just use the, uh, the, uh, Xylor thing and just clear-cut the whole field, but... The whole point of this is to try to make up some money so I can buy some equipment when it comes time for harvest. Which is going to come in handy. You know, kind of hard to combine uh, wheat without a combine. So, yeah, as it stands, that just kind of um, sits there right now doing nothing. Um, whereas this can uh, make money here. After all that, after um, getting the uh, corn sprayed, the sugar beet sprayed, this load hauled in, few mowing projects at the farm, that's the end of this episode. Yeah, time has just flown by and it's only 12.55. So, I think we'll come up with a game plan for tomorrow um, and leave it there for today. So, we'll just pick up here next time. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, it was kind of short and just uh, some random, random uh, farm jobs. But this time of the year, you know, that's just the way it is. And that, that's just um, how it goes in the farming world. Anyways, from Oregon Springs, Farmer Min telling you, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long. Mm -hmm.